Welcome to Mornings with Lou Ann and Tim. Ah, oh! Oh my gosh. You're not Lou Ann! I slept a really long time. What have you done with Lou Ann? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Christina Cotu. Hello, friends. You're, sta- you're sitting, sitting, sitting in. You're not standing I in. Am. <laughs> you're s- well, it doesn't change sitting. that. Much <laughs> <my> hand, <so. laughs> sitting in for Lou Ann. Lou Ann has gone to be with family and uh, she's on a little visit down to southern Ontario to visit her family and yes. spend some time. She's gone for a like a week and a couple days. <laughs> I know. So here you are. Well, thank you for having me. We miss you, Luann, but look, it's just to remind me. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of Luann's pet peeves. Lipstick on a mug. Oh. It's okay. She's not Only watching. Only if you leave it on the mug, Try, no. serve it in a restaurant. Oh, isn't uh, that awesome? Do you ever get that? A coffee cup and a mug that has lipstick on it already? Yeah, yeah, I have. That dishwasher got in trouble probably <laughs> then. Uh, Christina, your job, people have maybe seen you on the show because yeah. I've interviewed you on the show with your position at the Center for Social Justice and Good Works. Yes, yes. Which uh, has an exciting new project coming up. We do, yes. We're starting a chocolate manufacturing company. When, when we found out you were going to be hosting the sh- co-hosting the show with me, when you agreed to do it, one of the first things that Bruce Clement said, the owner of Superior Media, he said, tell her to bring chocolates. Of course. I said, Bruce, they haven't started the business yet. They're, they're not even moved into the, the location. Not here the equipment's yet. not here yet. He said, I know for a fact she brought chocolate back from Montreal when they went to learn how to make it. I did. And the problem with social media is everybody sees it. And then everybody's like, hey, you got some samples? And so quickly <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They did not last long. But that's a good sign. It just tells you it's going to be good chocolate. It's going to be good chocolate. It is, yes, yes. Hey, where, do you, where are you going to end up buying all the, the supplies, like the actual chocolate oh. and all the groceries? Like, what do you call that? The groceries, the ingredients. The supply, supplies, yeah. Uh, we have a great partnership with Barry Calibo, and they're really helping us find our suppliers. And yeah. there's some great people we met in Montreal. So, yeah, my job is uh, going well thanks to them. And this is all like another bonus to this is. All made in Canada, right? Oh yes. I mean, yes. You, do you import? I mean, some of the ingredients might be imported. Well, chocolate is. Yes, it is. it's not growing From here, but where? It, well, all over the world. All over the world. All over the world. It depends what you want your coffee to or your chocolate you, to taste like. I'm so excited about this. I know. But not you as excited really, as I am. You don't really know when it's going to start, do you? I mean, you don't have uh, a, a date to actually. We're going to start manufacturing. Well, we have some of the hand manufacturing stuff, so we're going to start doing that now. The um, hand manufacturing. Yeah, because there's mean? a couple of ways you can make it, right? Ooh. So yeah, the the warming kettles that we have. You have to mix the chocolate, and then that way it'll crystallize, and that's how you put it into the molds. I'm but salivating already. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I, I had a little bit last night before I went to bed, and then I was like, <laughs> why can't I sleep today? <laughs> uh, and this is all basically to create employment opportunities. for yes. It's training and job creation, and yes. then setting people off with a new skill set. Right? Yeah, well, the center, we needed to start a social enterprise to train people in retail wholesale and manufacturing skills so that they could either get employed, go back to school, or uh, start businesses. And right. so we needed a conduit to do so, and you know, who doesn't love chocolate? So. By probably signs, probably people follow. who are allergic to it, but other than them, yeah. I, nobody really. No, we'll find them something else that <laughs> we'll make. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. It was a busy night last night on television. I know you don't watch a lot of TV. I don't. But there's a show that I watch. It's okay. called The Masked Singer. Have you heard of it? No, but I so- it sounds like I would love it. I think you might, but it's kind of ridiculous. So they take celebrities, whether they're whatever field they're in, okay. whether it's sports or performers or... I don't know, I don't, politicians, who knows who they are? Okay. No one knows who they are. If you can imagine what goes into a television show of that size, like this right. is a national television show on CBS, I think, I don't know, I don't even know the network, isn't that terrible? Yeah. Fox. Anyway, <laughs> um, only five people on the entire production team know who the contestants are. Oh, the judges don't keepers. know, the, M- the MC <laughs> doesn't know, Nick Cannon is the MC, the guy that does America's Got Talent. Yeah. He doesn't know. They are, they arrive completely masked. Okay. If they have any um, personal assistance with them, professional assistance, uh, they have to be completely in costume too. Ah, uh, not to give it away. No giveaways. Mm-hmm. They can't have missed any work because of, um, like they can't be absent from anything, so that people would notice that they might oh. be participating in mm-hmm. something. Mm-hmm. So so far, um, what's his name? Tom, a oh, football guy, Red, uh, Brady. But not him though. Yeah, that's the only Tom. one I know. <laughs> I can't remember now. Okay, so there's a football guy who was like really... Th- Terry Bradshaw. Oh. He was one of them. <laughs> okay. Then there was also Tommy Ch- Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong. Oh. He was one. But they come out in these ridiculous costumes. Like one's dressed as like a pineapple, one's a monster, one's this raven. Last night the raven got unveiled. 
Okay. And they give you clues every week and they disguise their voices with a little you know, voice thing. Okay, okay. And then they bring out some personal things that are supposed to be other clues. So anyway, Keith and I guessed before she was unveiled. Okay, good. We knew that it was a talk show host. Did Keith tip you off though? He guessed before I did. Oh. I was thinking Sally Jesse Raphael. Okay. Until I really heard the voice last night, when uh -huh. I really listened to the voice, then I knew who it was. You, I would imagine you're good at that. You know who it was? Ricky Frickin' Lake. <laughs> Ricky Lake was the... Ricky Frickin' she Lake. She was the raven. <laughs> did she sing a song from Hairspray? No, she didn't, but oh. see, that's what... And what's kind of interesting <laughs> is Nick Cannon's got this habit of saying to the, after they've been unveiled, what was the experience like for you? Because they had Tori Spelling was one, and she's mm. like, this was cathartic for me because everyone said that I was a lousy singer and I was tone deaf, and so having this anonymity <laughs> was so great for me, and it freed me up, and blah, 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 blah. right? He asked Ricky, like, what was this journey like for you? You know, what did she, she said, well, it was fun. Because, like, she's, she's sung, of she's course, performed, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, it's not like yeah. she was, you know, th this gave her, uh, this anonymity gave her some sort of, for her, it was a kick. What is she doing now? You know what? I don't know. The mass Singer. That's I guess what she's so. doing, yeah. We've also figured out who the peacock is. Okay. It's Donny Osmond. Aww. Were you a Donny Osmond fan when you were young? Did you um, do that? Well, I had to go and review, like, old videos of him when I was young. <laughs> You're such a liar! <laughs> Don't make me feel old. <laughs> purple socks. Remember Donny Osmond wore purple socks? Purple. Anyway, Donny Way Osmond, we know it's Donny because last night he held, his, his clue was a wig. And he said, this wig, uh, because of this wig, I ended up in jail. Ah. Joseph and the amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. He played Joseph. It was awesome. the wig he wore in Joseph. And he had closed every door to me. He was in jail. <laughs> it's Donny Osmond. Oh, we know it. Donny. Anyway, oh, this mm. is how I spend my evenings. Yes. Did you, were, did you have anything to do with Joseph uh, when it was in, in Toronto? town? Toronto? When here it was in, in town, yeah. No, that was before I, got, I was... What about the the superstar, Jesus Christ? Yeah, Jesus. I was Jesus. You were? I, I went to see that with well, my Well, there were son. several incarnations of it. Oh, okay. Well, I, the, think, I played Jesus once. I think Will Garcher played yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, he did. That I was remember. Pole Chain. No, was oh. it? I don't know where that was. The one that was recent, though, I brought my son to it, and silly me, I didn't realize it was Jesus Christ Superstar, because I kept waiting for the dream coat to come out. <laughs> <laughs> and I had my son, who was like five with me, like, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Fail. Oh well. And then they bring that gun out, right? And yeah, so and he's beside me. And he's like, "Mom, what's happening?" I'm like, and they whip him, closing his eyes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You whoops. thought it was Joseph, and it was Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Whoops. Different person. <laughs> yeah, totally different. Person. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Parenting what you, fail. What do you do at night at home? Um, do you, you don't? You've watched Netflix. You said. Yeah, Friends. I watch Friends. It's pretty much. And then I work. That's because I always have to prepare for the next day. So yeah, hopefully my board members are watching. <laughs> yeah, sure. Suck it up. I worked so hard. Did you know there was an earthquake in Sudbury yesterday? No. <laughs> no. Really? Well, it's, uh, it was happened about 27 kilometers east of Sudbury. Did the nickel fall or something? No, it's 2.9 magnitude, which... Now, here's something newsworthy. Mm, I mean, okay. I, Megan, I think... Oh, by the way, Megan, in the absence of Luann, Megan uh, Pounder is our uh, news anchor today. She's lovely. Look, there's a picture of the earthquake epicenter. Mm. Anyway, Megan talks about it on the news, but I just looked it up and it said, basically, a 2.9 magnitude, they would have felt it. But not without a hundred beyond a right. hundred kilometers, no. Okay. And earth, uh, earthquake Canada or whatever they said that um, that kind of earthquake happens several times every day in eastern Canada. Okay. But it usually happens in areas where if it doesn't happen anywhere where there's nobody living within a hundred kilometers, no one's going to know. Right. Right. So apparently it wasn't that big a deal. Hmm. So anyway. Well, go Sudbury. We're glad you made it through. So I asked you last night to look some stuff up to talk about yeah. on the show, and what yeah. did you find? Um, not a whole lot happened the, today, in today in history. I did find out one really exciting fact Go is ahead. that um, George from the Beatles in 1965 got his tonsils out. Woo! Luan. So that means anyone getting them out today, you know, they've done it for a number of years, so you're good to go. <laughs> right? Luann, come home. <laughs> no, no, listen. No, sometimes there's just nothing. You know what I got? What? I got that it's the birthday of Charles Dickens in 1812. Oh. So, you know what I mean? Charles Dickens and Ringo? Who was it? No, George? No, George, yes. Which was, who did you like the best for the Beatles? Who uh, was your well, favorite Beatle? I don't want to be cliche, but it was Lennon. John Lennon? Mm -hmm. That's not necessarily cliche. And, A lot of people's know. favorite Beatle was, yeah. was Ringo. Yeah, Ringo. Because he was John the Lennon. cutest. He was, yes. And then. And he was on a kid's show, right? Wasn't he, he was like. The train yeah, guy. yeah, Tom Thomas. From Thomas? Really? Was that it? I, I don't think know. so. 
I think somebody. I think so. <laughs> I think Kevin knows. <laughs> Kevin knows everything. <laughs> Yelling through the walls. Sesame Dawn. Street. Yes. Did you watch Sesame Street? I did. I yes. didn't. It came after me. Oh really? Well, I'm 56, and Sesame Street just turns 50 this year. Ah. So I was. I guess I could have. So they realized they needed the show after you were born. You know what it was? Hmm. We didn't get it in Sault Ste. Marie hmm. 50, 56 years, 50 years ago. We only got like WKBD in D in Detroit oh, and hmm. CBC. There was no CTV. Who was your favorite on Sesame Street when you did see it? When I did see yeah. it? Yeah. Hmm. You know what? The special guests. I didn't like the Muppets. <laughs> what about what about Snuffleupagus? He he was not real and he nobody could see him. Well, a Big Bird could. Yeah. I think Big Bird. We all have a friend like that. I think Big Big Bear, Big Bird was out in the field eating some mushrooms. Maybe before he saw Snuffleupagus. <laughs> the Simpsons. Oh yeah. Is that a show you ever watched? Yeah. Well, I wasn't allowed to when I was really little, but when I got older, yeah. Do you let your son watch The Simpsons? No, no he's not. It's really. an adult. It's, it's not really on. An adult show. I don't think it's on Netflix. So. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, The Simpsons have been renewed Ooh. for two more seasons. Do you know how many seasons that means? Thirty-one and thirty-two. Ooh. Thirty-one seasons. Wow. And Bart looks really good. He's still the same age. I wish I were a cartoon character. Do you know Bart, his voice is done by a female? Yes. Yeah. I forget what her first name is. Mm. I forget. Bart? No. Bartette? No. Bartette? I don't know. <laughs> well, Christine, it's nice to have you on the show today. Thank you. Yeah, our first pleasure guest, to be here. We've met our first guests already. They're we in did, the, they're in yes. the room waiting to come out. They're from Algoma University, from the Fine Arts Students. Uh, they're so, looking fine today, too. And they are having a, a, a mixed media soiree. Mm -hmm. So that's coming up, plus the news with Megan Pounder, more banter with Christina, and lots more on Mornings with Luann and Tim right after this. Welcome back, and I'm happy to have with me this morning, okay, I've got Samantha, I've got Isabel, and I've got Desiree from the Algoma University Fine Arts Student Society. Yes. All right. So, how long has this society been around? Let's ask the, let's ask the president. Madam President, Desiree <laughs> at the end there. Um, I actually don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they had formed prior to us being there. Okay. We kind of resurrected it last year. Yeah. Oh, thanks for bringing it back. Yeah. Yes. Why is it there? <laughs> <laughs> so it's made up of fine arts and music students. And basically we coordinate events and we try to make art community happen on campus. On campus. Yeah. So you're sort of a, a liaison or sort of a conduit for all of the different arts programs to come together and, and uh, share their talents. Yes, absolutely. Which is basically what's happening tonight. Yes. yes. It's the mixed media soiree. <laughs> yes. uh, so, who wants to tell me a little bit about how this came to be? Why don't, why don't you? All right, Samantha. Um, well, we started it last year. We wanted to have an event that we could do annually. Okay. And we needed a show in the second semester to show things in the second semester because we always have one in the first. Okay. So uh, we decided decided a soiree would be kind of fun. Absolutely. Gives people a chance to dress up and get, get dress out. Dress up and, and get out and. Uh, it's being held in the um, speakeasy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, w w when is it starting tonight? Um, it starts at 7 o'clock and okay. it goes till 11. So it's, that's lots of time to stop by, right? Yeah. Uh, and what can we expect to see there? What kind of exhibits? You can you can each tell me what you think. Well, you've got, let's talk a little bit about what your installation, you have an installation. Uh, yeah, I have an installation piece that uh, it's painting and a lot of hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Did so. you, how, did, how long does it take you to install it? Hopefully two hours. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the doors might open and you'll see her on a ladder going. Yeah, just me. ignore that for a okay, little bit. Just, yeah. They might think you're part of the. It's a, like living art. Yeah, I'll just stand still <laughs> and look at if I get stuck. But that's only one piece. You have others too. Uh yeah. I have a wood cut print on fabric and a book sculpture. The book sculpture thing sounds cool. Can you explain the book sculpture thing, Isabel? Yeah. So I think the ones that we're gonna have in there are we've taken books mm -hmm. from the library. For example, they had like some spare books that doubles that we could destroy right. and we just kind of changed them up to make them into sculptures. Wow. So 
that was fun. So turning to those to turning things off. that are just that's kind of a uh, also how art can actually be used to recycle, yeah. turn things of some, one man's garbage to another man's art, exactly. mm -hmm. right? That's true. What yeah. about what about your installation or your what what pieces are you exhibiting? I have two Is paintings. It? Two paintings? Yes, in the exhibit. I think I asked you off camera, but I don't remember the response. Do you have a, a, a favorite thing to... Oh, you did answer. I I'm going to ask you again. Your favorite thing to paint is... Abstract, abstract Expressionism. Beautiful. Now, and that also led me to wondering whether or not there's a connection at all between the fine arts program at the university and the art gallery, because I know that the art gallery does exhibit a lot of local uh, artists. Mm -hmm. Is there a connection there for you? We, we're trying to build more of a connection. Really? The AGA usually allows the thesis students to have a joint thesis show ah. once a year. Last year it didn't happen because the AGA um, was in, yeah. in flux kind of thing. Or yeah. 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 Well, Yasmina Yovanovitch. Years. She's my, I like saying her name. <laughs> I was just there yesterday. She's a great lady and I'm sure that, that she'd be happy to, I mean, she's always working with everybody in the community. So that's, mm -hmm. so anyway, at the soiree, let's get back to that again. Yes. Uh, seven o'clock night at the speakeasy till 11, not just and tell me about some of the exhibits that we'll see, some of the other things. So we have easels set up in the speakeasy and we'll be displaying different kinds of paintings and we also have a table for sculptures. Sculptures. Then also the music students will be joining us. There'll be a jazz ensemble playing the whole time. And if you, the jazz ensemble El Gomu was phenomenal. It's, it's usually under the direction of Frank Teresti. There may be other professors that I'm not certain about, but Frank is amazing and the musicians are amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so there's en live entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that the bar will be open, cash bar. Yes. Yep. Snackies. Oh, candy bar. <laughs> Ca a candy bar as well. Ooh, Christina, chocolates. Uh, <laughs> lots of chocolates. Yes. There you go. In the future, there you go. Christina can sell her chocolates at the soiree. Um, the other thing I wanted to ask you about was um, the artists being present. Will the artists be present with their works for the most part? For the most part, uh, most plan on arriving. At some point through the night, some won't be there, but... Okay, but for the most, most part... part yeah. So that's kind of interesting, too. As a patron, then, you can come through and I could walk up and say, so, Samantha, this piece, what does this mean to you? What was your inspiration behind it? That kind of stuff. You can actually have a conversation with the artist. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's a great chance to kind of immerse yourself a little bit more. What about um, anything for sale, or do they have to keep this stuff because it's part of their portfolio? It's part, it's a, these are projects, Most really. of them are portfolio projects. Right. We're not selling them, but we can always direct somebody mm -hmm. to the artist and they can talk about it personally if because they want also to. Because also there may, if, if, I mean, just because something has been done as a project for school doesn't mean that the artist doesn't have other works mm -hmm. of their mm -hmm. own That's that true. they might be willing to sell if mm -hmm. the person were interested in their work, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, now who puts, who, who are the professors that are, are there, do you have work with the professors as well on this or is it st totally student driven? Uh, right now, it's student driven. Yeah, we have a lot of support from them, but yeah. uh, we pretty much do all the like work. And that's good. You know what? That's so. And you're curating as well. So this mm -hmm. is a great experience mm -hmm. for you, right? Yes. Maybe just explain a little bit about that process of, of curating and, and what you're how this is almost like a learning a learning thing for you guys as well. So. So it gives us opportunity to learn how to choose. So curating an art exhibit means choosing the pieces that go in, choosing the order that they go in, picking which colors work beside other colors, that kind of thing. And then it gives us opportunity to learn how to hang them properly, how to exhibit professionally, that kind of thing. Gives us lots of experience. Hands-on experience. Mm -hmm. And now, what about, uh, how many years is the program at, Al at Algoma U, the fine arts degree? There is a three and a four year program. Okay. There's a BFA and a BA. BA is three. BA is and three. And BFA is uh, four. Mm -hmm. Bachelor of Fine Arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you plan to do after you leave university? Do you have any plans for, for <laughs> Samantha for yet? Or? Um, I, well, I plan on doing my master's and oh. then possibly going abroad. Nice. For a bit. I don't know what I'm doing. Isabel, <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> too sure. The world is your oyster. Exactly. You get I think I want to do a lot of things. I don't want to narrow it down just yet. Good for you. Yeah. And Desiree, any plans for I would like to do my master's after. Master's as well? Yeah. 
Ladies, it's really nice of you to come in here this early morning. I know you probably have a busy day ahead of getting everything ready at the Speakeasy. Mm -hmm. uh, you say that you do get great support within the university and the, and the uh, community as well. So we're encouraging you, if you want to take a look at what's going on at Algoma U, to stop by the Speakeasy between 7 o'clock and 11 o'clock tonight. Bring some cash for the cash bar, have some candy. Admission by donation. Ad oh, that's excellent. Admission by donation because the class is planning to go to Ottawa yes. to visit the National Art Gallery, among other places. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, what yes. a beautiful city and yep. everything there. It's, it's historical and, mm -hmm. and artsy and gorgeous. <laughs> and I love Ottawa. Have you been before? No. Oh, you haven't? I'm from Alberta. <gasps> <gasps> Welcome to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. That's amazing that you came all this way. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to love Ottawa. Okay, so and so it's by donation. Send Desiree to Ottawa. She's never been. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back with Christina Katu, my special guest host. And once again, thank you, ladies. It's thank the you. Mixed Media Soiree tonight at Algoma U. Hope to see you there. We'll be back in just a minute. They just showed all those birds in the snow. We're, we're getting a little bit. We're supposed oh. to get ice pellets and freezing rain. Yeah, we've got that already. You know what? I'm fine. Things are worse up north. I know. Wawa, Wa, White that. River, they're calling Ooh. between 20 and 30 kilometers. No, 20 kilometers. 20 to 30 centimeters of snow. Oh. In one day. That's mm -hmm. what we got like, like the last time we got dumped yeah. on. Mm. Uh, but they're also saying March, that we may be rid of the snow by the end of March. Oh, not That's, good for the ski hill, but. For those of well, us I that suppose. are always cold, but that's true. That's true. Hey, okay, another TV show I haven't watched, but I want to start. Okay, I'd never heard of it until this morning. Okay. It's called The World's Best. It's a talent contest. Oh, people from all over the world. There's this guy. He's from <laughs> Kazakhstan. Well done. He's from. He's Twenty. Not, never mind. His, his Just name saying is saying the word. Dimash Kudbaygan. Kudbaygan. Kud, Kud. His name is Dimash, and. He sings. He's 24 years old. Okay. Seven octaves. A Ooh. piano, ladies and gentlemen, is eight octaves. Have you recruited him I for think Shrek? It's eight octaves. <laughs> Shrek. No, <laughs> Shrek is cast already. <laughs> this guy's voice changed, but he could still hit high notes. He okay. sings notes that are stratospheric. It's crazy. I want to start watching the show. What's the highest note you can sing? Mm, uh, no, my top note is probably about a nope. That this would matter to anybody. We're probably about a D above high C. Mm. That's the, there. He is. That's the guy, Dimash. Oh, he's so cute. He's lovely. He speaks no English. Oh. He has a translator beside him, and he sang, I think he sang in French. It was some artsy song he oh. sang in French. Anyway, I'm going to start watching that show. Okay. Let me know how it is. I w <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about how you, what, what, what do you love to do in Sault Ste. Marie? What are your favorite uh. pastimes? Because, you know, one thing we always hear, if you go online to the complainers, the keyboard warriors, there's nothing to do in Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, yeah. There's lots to do in Sault Ste. Marie. I mean, you Warren. get to shovel your driveway all the time. <laughs> never a shortage of that. No, there never right? is. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's Bonsu, so I mean... Do you go out for Bonsu? I, I do when I have my little guy. Um, yeah. Other than that, I like to be inside and be warm. But, yeah. and I like... But well, there I, are inside warm things for Bonsu. There are. I was thinking about the that concerts. last night. Do you like blues? I love it. Love okay, it. listen, there's a girl coming to town, a woman, not a girl, a woman coming to town. Her name is Amanda Fish, the Amanda Fish okay. Band. Have you heard of her? No. Oh, no, I have neither not. had I. Um, but the Sioux Blues Society is bringing her to town as mm -hmm. part of Bon Sioux. Okay. I interviewed her via Skype the other day, uh -huh. and I got to see some of her stuff on, on online. She's Saturday night at the machine shop. Okay, Saturday night. Christina, if you like blues, I'm telling you, this woman sings like crazy. Okay, okay. Plays the bass guitar, growls it out like she's hardcore blues. I'll have to pause Netflix on Saturday, but, you know, I might check it out. Yeah. And so, and we, there's a great interview, and she's coming, and we actually have tickets to give away. We're doing that. Ooh. Yeah, tomorrow. We're giving the tickets okay. away tomorrow. So there's a contest right now online at sueonline.com. Okay. Contests. They can enter contests to get uh, tickets to get Amanda Fish. We also have a contest for the Youth Chart Toppers Tour. <gasps> 
that's where they get the Ariana Grande and the Bruno Fun, Mars and yeah. the Nicki Minaj. You okay, know, right? Yes. Wait, so we have tickets for that to give away too. Okay. We'll be giving some out after the after the news. So all they have to do is go online. Go online and answer oh, a little trivia easy. question, and then they can qualify mm, to win. And then okay. we do the draw from the emails that arrive. Okay. And then also uh, we're doing a draw. Ooh, we're doing a draw today for the Johnny Cash show. <gasps> I uh, hear the train mm. coming. Johnny Cash. They're not giving away cash there, unfortunately. Not giving away cash, mm. just giving away some Johnny. Yeah. Uh, so we have all the giveaways coming up right after the news. Okay. So Megan has the news, then we have the giveaways, yes. and then later on I have another interview coming up. I'm not going to tell you who it is. I'm going to keep you in suspense. Mm. I'm very, very interested. Well, you're not going anywhere because mm -mm. we have more coffee to make. We'll see, you <laughs> in, we'll see you in just a minute. We'll be back with more news with Megan Pounder after this. Welcome back. And one of the things we love to do here at On TV is to give things away. Ooh. I know. So we all know that it's Bonsu. Yes, we do. That's who our next mm. guest is. I'll reveal the secret. It's Jeannie White, ladies and Yay, gentlemen. Jeannie. Who, Jeannie is the manager and president of the Bonsu Winter Carnival. Yes. Jeannie's going to come on Bless her. after this. Lots of work. I know. Okay, okay. I'll volunteer. Bless them. What? Yes. Uh, anyway, so they, Bonsu and Jeannie, gave us some free tickets to give away yeah. for the Johnny Cash tribute show that's coming up. And uh, his, his last name is Goffey. Uh, he, yeah, he's a, he's, like Coffee, but with a G. Yeah, he's like yeah. the foremost Johnny Cash impersonator mm. tribute artist. And he's performing here in the Sioux. Two performances, evening and matinee. Okay. And the matinee tickets, we gave away evening tickets already. This draw was for the matinee tickets, and the lucky winner is Allison Harton. Allison will be in touch with you, and you're going to see the matinee performance, 2 o'clock, of the Johnny Cash Tribute Show. She has two tickets, so... Two I tickets. don't have any plans, Allison. $40. Just I, saying. Think, I don't even know the value is. It's a, a good value. Anyway, tomorrow we'll be giving away the last of the uh, the youth concert, the, uh, the Ariana Grande. Yeah. yeah. That's tomorrow, but you got to get your entries in. So go to sueonline.com contests and enter the contest to win. It's a $40 value of these tickets for... Yep. Um, two tickets is $40 for the youth concert. Yes. And uh, there's three sets of tickets to give away. So get your entries in there. We'll do that draw tomorrow. It's family friendly. And uh, so parents Absolutely. win some tickets for your kids and surprise them. Jeannie, made, Jeannie asked that the artists realize that it's a family friendly event and therefore it's family friendly costumes and family friendly lyrics. Yeah. So don't be afraid because they're doing like Nicki Minaj tributes that it's not going to be family friendly. Yes. It's all been, it's all rated, uh, what do you, rated, F rated? F for fun. F for fun. <laughs> <laughs> Another giveaway we get to do right now. I'm gonna give do one now and one after. Okay. We got two sets of Greyhound tickets. Yeah. We had a record-breaking number of entries on this one. Ooh. And I've done the first draw. I'll do the second draw during the next break. So this is now uh, for this Saturday, Saturday, February the 9th. Saturday. Not typical for Saturday. Greyhounds night. take on the Niagara Ice Dogs. Ooh. Wait a minute, didn't didn't they just? Didn't Niagara just beat them recently? I think yeah, they I'm did. I'm sure it was a fluke. I think Niagara yeah. beat them. This will be interesting. Go Hounds! I know. Yes. Come on, guys. Come back. Uh, anyway, the winner of the tickets for the Saturday, February the 9th game is Roy Diot. So Roy, once again, will be in touch with you. Yes. And stay tuned with us on the show because at the very end of the show, I'm going to give away the last two Hounds mm. tickets. And that's for the London Knights game here in the Sioux, uh, February 10th at the GFL. Alrighty. So coming up after this break, we have our next guest. It's Jeannie White, the manager and president of Bon Sue. Hmm. Mornings with Luann and Tim and Christina. We'll be right back after this brief message.
White is here. Hi, Jeannie. <laughs> How you doing? Manager, President, Bond Sue Winter Carnival. That's right. Yeah, you you know each other, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We go, we way, go back. way back. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it is just, the suit. You know what? Just carry on without me. Yeah, well. Hey, listen. Congratulations. <laughs> Opening ceremonies, everyone's talking about it. Oh, we had such a great time. What was that show called? The Hoop What? The Hoop You Girls, they were stellar. <laughs> did you know the Hoop, hoop You? Yeah. That's what I said. You, yeah, hoop, hoop, yeah. 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 What did they do? Well, um, basically what they do is they do hula hoops and glow and fire, and it was like a battle between fire and ice, and then they swung these little spinners around. They're called Poi and had, you know, our advertisers in there, Mr. Bonsu. It was... Where we had did you find them? I wanted them last year, but yeah. I wasn't able to make it happen, so I made sure I got them this year. Awesome. Good yeah. for you. And they wow. were just wonderful gals. They were, were so... They? Oh, Where'd so they come from? Uh, Toronto, Niagara area, yeah. I believe, yes. Hey, did I tell you that I, I was telling Christina, I interviewed that Amanda Fish from the oh, Amanda Fish Band? Oh, yes, so Jeez, exciting. That concert's going to be killer. It is. The blues concerts are always awesome. And, Does the Blue uh, Society always get involved with you? Is that a, an annual thing or what? Well, it's a second annual for them, for sure. Um, basically, uh, when I was starting out last year, I was looking for things to, to really fill the night and have some concerts and some things that were different. And then I met uh, Johnny Tibbles, and then boom, magic happened. Magic. Yeah, magic, yep. Yeah. Uh, speaking of magic, so a little bit of magic happening on stage. Johnny Cash is back to life. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Terry Lee Goffey. Oh, like so good. Really, eh? Yes. Oh, I, I understand one of the best. Yes, he's one of the best. Um, all performs all over. You all over. I would say he is the best. He's good the song. ultimate. The ultimate tribute to Johnny Cash. Mm. Absolutely. So he debuts tonight. Yes, at uh, doors open at seven and uh, starts at eight, and we're getting really full. Yes. I'm very That's happy about that. demand. You have two shows? Two shows. Yeah. The matinees tomorrow, that, and we just gave away those tickets before yeah. you yeah. Uh, were here. Two o'clock tomorrow. Uh, so, you know, some people can't make it uh, at For the, the evening night, show. And, yeah, so I had them in town, and I wanted to make sure. And uh, you know what? There's a lot of, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are our age who may be retired who are Johnny Cash fans, you know. Yes, absolutely. I mean, everybody likes one song for sure. You absolutely. Know? Yeah, not, Which, what's your favorite? Uh, the Ring of Fire. <laughs> yeah. And Jackson. I fell into a you have a favorite Johnny Cash song? Mm, I think no. Folsom Prison. But, oh, that's good too. That's probably mine. Do I have yeah. to pick one, really? Yeah, it is tough. No, when, could, when he's so ultimate. There, oh, look. <laughs> doesn't he look like him? He was that's the guy. That's Terry Lee Goffey. Yes, he, I, I it's believe crazy. he was born in the same city. Oh, as, as Johnny? Johnny? And he sounds like if you closed your eyes, you'd think you were talking to him. Okay. Like, without even knowing that he was in the room. You don't, he's Johnny Cash here. So good. Today also is that. It started off with Project A, B, C, D it was right. just, it, with, the, with the school boards right. and it's turned into this whole other, it's, it's still about healthy and getting um, out and, and teams and learning yeah. and getting working together. So it's still a lot of the same principles as, uh, as the A, B, C, D program which is about uh, learning how to be happy with a natural high, mm -hmm. no substances, live a clean life. Yeah. That was yeah. the whole thing behind this uh, high school challenge. Yes, absolutely. And it really is, I mean it's talking, taking care of your body, being yeah. athletic, teamwork. So. That's happening today, right? Yes, and I'm I'm very happy the buses weren't canceled today. Yeah. Right, because I did they not all go want down. To use this they go down. It's like a Winter Olympics. Oh, so much fun! And the camaraderie between the high schools—they have their mascots. They it's, do the whole. They oh, do the whole parade, parade, Christina. There's a whole like Olympic parade. They the teams come marching in from the schools. They get off oh, their buses. Cute. They walk all the way in to the yeah. to the parking lot of the mill um, mill market. Yeah. When the parking lot's all done up with the games like. They play hockey, but it's written like, uh, ho ball hockey. Yeah, ball hockey. They do all tug of war. Ones. They do tug of war. Cool. But they come in marching with their with uh, their mascots and they're cheering and they do. I think they have to make up cheers for their schools. And so do they win based on pride? Is that how it is? Or is there no, it's actually they have. It's, 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 it's elimination. It's points actually. Oh, yeah. They win okay. by points. That every when you win a when you win a thing, you get higher points. And there's no mm. losers. Everybody gets prizes. And it's no. all around the region, right? Not yes. Just they bus schools. them in. Kids get on the bus from f f uh, like. I wonder Ooh. if they. May, the I don't believe they're coming in because there the was weather. possibly yeah. a, a, yeah, there's a, a storm bus canceled yeah. today. We're so, but space. they're probably coming from uh, down the line. I'm not sure, but uh, I hope so. Cash usually yeah. comes in yeah. at Elliott Lake. Yeah. Anyway, they ride the buses for hours to get here and do this. Yeah, it, it's a great event, and what, it's continued for years. What's on tonight? Uh, well, we've got the trivia night. Ooh. Ooh. T and word has it they have record numbers of team entries. Yes. See, I love to hear to? this. No, Are you know you what, Christina, my nights, I, I'm in rehearsal a lot, so I don't get yeah. to go to a lot of stuff in the evenings, but I'm fabulous at trivia. Good for you. I used to like it when we had that bar down in the, um, what was that bar called in the, 
in the Station Mall. Remember? And you could go and sit and play at the bar and play trivia oh, on the screen. There was a bar in Station Mall? Restaurant? You betcha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you betcha oh, there was. I set that up for you. Anyway, trivia tonight. Where's that? At the Marconi. Yes, that yeah. Yes. And, and, you know, they've had this event for a few years now. And it's, you know, people are, they look for that right away. When's the trivia? When's, When's the, trivia? the trivia? Yeah. There's going to be great food there, I'm sure. Oh, yes. At the Marconi? Are you oh, kidding? Yeah. Hello. Uh, how has the Snow Madness stuff been going? Because those are all teams, right? Yes. Yes, they're doing great. Last night we had the lip sync and they <laughs> did some minute to win it and some cheers. And our next event, because of Monday being cancelled, because of the ice. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah because the ice yeah, got yeah, pretty we're, bad. We're doing, we have a closure on Queen Street at 5 o'clock on Friday. You have a Queen Street party? Yes, and we also have a tent down there that we're able to go into after. So, Wait, yeah. where's that? Where's that? Where's it say that? It, it, well, it doesn't really say that on there, but it's the social. When are we going? Oh, Friday, Friday night. What time? Well, the road I'll closes at five. <laughs> Yeah. Well, closes at five. Four yeah. fifty. I'll be at those. Yeah. I don't work for. I don't rehearse Friday nights. Well, there you go. That sounds like you're and I'm, bored, and I'm, I'm going to hold you to it. Okay, so you know. And I'm going to that blues thing. Wait, there's more. There's more. <laughs> the bump slides. The rain. Uh, so those ice and rain shut it down one day only. Yes. But you said better than ever because now it's slicker. Yes, and we've had um, snow since. You know, due to the fire. I mean, that wasn't oh the only reason, gosh. but that contributed to mm -hmm. our slides not being super slidey because, yeah. you know, they were busy and the rightly so. The firemen were a little yes. bit busy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. That was Don't tragic. forget your helmets on those. Uh, yes. Mandatory. So important. So yes. important. We're not having anybody get a concussion yeah. at Bon Sue because it's no. all about fun and safety. Yes. yes that's Tell what me I about the weekend. What's lined up? Well, a lot um, of stuff, Jeannie. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I hear a Mario Kart thing. What's oh, that the Mario Kart about? tournament's our second annual. Ooh. And, uh, Is that a kid? Ages 7 to 12. Oh, there's two age groups. Yes. 7 to 12 and 13 up. Yes, and it's going to be awesome. Outside of the machine shop? No, inside. Come on. Yes. They we... ride around inside? No. What? <laughs> what do they do? It's a gaming system. It's a video See game. See how stupid I am? No, no you're not stupid. I, well, just... well, I didn't say that. Oh, no. How about it? How about it? <laughs> <laughs> I picked your kids in carts riding around the machine Next shop. Next year. Maybe so you it's, can it's organize a, that. the gaming yes, thing. Yes, cool. and uh, we pull the big screen down when the competition happens, but we have oh, other consoles, etc., on the side. And can you win stuff? Yes, there's prizes. Really? Yes. What are the canoe rides? Oh, the canoe rides, they are actually well, on the first weekend, so they're not oh, happening they're not, this okay. weekend. Okay, Saturday, is this February 9th? Is that where I am right now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the lantern ski. Ooh. Oh, oh, a lantern ski. So Beautiful. popular. That's at Hiawatha. I was out there. Gore. Oh, I want to I the bet. evening with the oh, the trees the, and oh. the ice on the trees right now, looking mm. beautiful. Okay, Amanda Fish Band. That's tom that's Saturday night. Story time. Oh. Is Mr. So Bons popular. That's one of our there? popular at the library. Facebook. We're getting lots of uh, business about uh, the Saturday two thirty. So happy. Yeah. And then Sunday, the Pow Wow at Sioux College. We had them on the oh, show. Yeah. Be fabulous. And Always it's Saturday well. and Sunday. You got to get this book and look everything up. Yeah. That's, that's the way to do more it. Or online. Yes, online yeah. and Facebook. I didn't Mr. even Bonsu. get to tell you my Mr. Bonsu story. I'll tell you tomorrow. I have okay. a funny story about me and Mr. Bonsu when I was only little. Oh. Okay. Uh -oh. That's our time, Jeannie. Okay. Well, thanks for having me. No, thanks for being here. You're going to come <laughs> You're gonna come back tomorrow. Yeah, and I'm not spending the night here, but yeah. Because I'm going to Johnny Cash tonight. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We'll be back to say goodbye with my co-host of the, of the day, Christine Kutu, after this brief message. We are back to say goodbye with a final we giveaway. Are. Yes. Two Woo! tickets to the home game. Two Greyhounds versus London, Ontario. London Knights. Yes. Sunday, February 10th at the GFL Gardens. Game time is 2.06 p.m. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's 2.07 p.m. Why? Don't show up at 2.08. Why? Why 2.07? It says on the ticket. You said it always starts seven minutes after? Yeah. I have no idea why. Can someone please tell us why the Greyhound game started at 2.07 yes. or 7? It's like at night, is it 7.07? Yes. I find that crazy. Anyway, the winner is Amanda Laidley. We'll be Yay. in touch. You're, oh, Amber. Amber Laidley, you're going to the Greyhound game on Sunday. Uh, and enter the contest on sueonline.com. We'll see you tomorrow. Christina Couture, my co-host, thanks for being here today. Thank you. Bye for now.